Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show off some interesting processing techniques that will turn a still image into something that looks like an animated, interesting piece of artwork. So thanks for watching and let's get into it. Alright, today we're going to do some weird stuff with images. Let's go ahead and create a setup loop and our draw loop. I'm going to go ahead and say 800 by 800 and give it a black background. So the first thing we want to do is pull out an image. Not sure what we're going to pull out here. That looks nice. Let's pick that out. All right, so we picked out an image. Let's go ahead and create that as a global variable. I'm going to say image equals load image. Punch that in. Now, just to make sure it's working, we're going to say image dot resize width and height. And we're going to say image. Oh, you know what? We shouldn't have called that image. Let's call it. IMG. I'm going to say IMG. IMG 00. zero. Should work. Alright, so what we're going to do with that, let's go ahead and say void squares. Start with that. And then we're going to have an integer number. So what I'm going to do here is create two loops. Then we're going to create just one more. And I'm actually going to probably say plus equals num. And we're going to say if it's less than width, and if it's less than height. So this should give us a matrix of squares by the time we're done with this, but real quick, I'm going to add a variable as a locator. All right, so all I'm really gonna do now is make sure those squares works by saying square. Oh, you know what, first, rec mode center, and then we're gonna say square, x, y, and we're going to say uh, whatever the size is. So that's going to be probably the num. Cool, so we have a grid of squares. So what I can do here is make them a little bit bigger so we can see them better. I got a grid of squares going over top that image. So all I really want to do is start that out at the num so that the offset is a little bit more precise. And there we go. So now we can do something interesting with those squares. We can actually make them resemble the color of the image underneath. So what I'm going to do is say fill. And there we go. We actually have a pixelated look to that image. But we don't have to stop there either. We can change that number as many times as we want. And we can even technically make them circles too. Kind of cool. Now we can also modulate that size a little bit too. We could say, uh, let's randomize that size. It's gonna flicker a little bit here perhaps. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's make that a little bit bigger perhaps. So they kind of overlap each other in a way that I feel like we could probably fix. So let's go from random. We're gonna say from random 25 to random 50. Let's try that in between that range. Or you know what, let's go from, the range should maybe be uh, num minus, maybe num divided by two to num. Let's try that. Oh, there we go, that's pretty cool. I like the way that looks. But now we can modulate num again, so we can say like, what about 100? What would that look like? Ooh, interesting. Maybe uh, 50. And I feel like the stroke weight could probably also be closer to num. Maybe like num divided by two. That's nah, too dark. Num divided by five. We need some kind of ratio here that makes sense. That seems to kind of make sense. And with something like that, it's a little bit more subtle where it's definitely moving, but you almost can't tell how or why. Let's go ahead and take that stroke weight down a little bit. I'm gonna just give it two. Seems like it works a little bit better that way. And it's interesting that when those, when the circles and squares did overlap, it was kind of interesting in a way. So maybe we should just go ahead and let them overlap. It kind of made it, kind of made it cooler. Kind of get more of an interesting pattern there if you kind of just, you know, wing it. Just give it like, give it its own interesting thing going on there. And we can even try a different image too. Let's go ahead and say num times two. How about that? Hey, that's pretty cool. Num times five, maybe. Trying to give it some variance there if we can. Now it's only half the image, so it just kind of eats up the one half. I feel like the spacing in between these is not what I want. So I'm gonna say Y plus plus. I want them to overlap a little bit more. I want it to be kind of like mayhem if it works. Although this might draw too many uh, circles for it to handle. So might have to make them a little bit bigger. Maybe make them a little bit bigger so it's easier for it to load. Might have to pick out a smaller image. Let's go ahead and turn the stroke off. I feel like that is probably a little bit of an issue. So we're going to want these to actually overlap. That's not going to work very well. Let's give this a hard coded plus equals five. And let's turn the rec mode off perhaps. 
Ah, there we go. Now that comes out pretty cool looking. It looks like some kind of glitchy mess. Ah, okay. So that wasn't really working the way I wanted it to, apparently. Let's go ahead and try to hard code 10 in there and see if that does anything cool. Now that definitely looks cool to me. It looks like it would be an interesting thing to do with an image. Let's try to get one more image out to really uh, solidify that. All right, there you have it. Some interesting image effects with processing.